Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting a mix HQ, and you are looking at the Pioneer Wego. It's an entry level controller, and you just saw the hardware. That is the hardware, and it comes with this guy here, Virtual DJ LE, which is the software. So, first of all, how do controllers work? Well, you should, if you haven't, go and get some. You should have your, some music on your laptop or your Mac. What the controller will do, it will enable you to play that music using some proper DJ kit. So if we have a close look at this now, all right, you've got two circles there. Those are your virtual turntables. Let's go back in time millions of years to when the dinosaurs were around. They would have been vinyl turntables. Now they're near enough exactly the same. The difference is no vinyl, you're using your music files from your PC. We have a crossfade here, so we can crossfade from one track to the other. We have two up faders, exactly the same as most conventional mixers. Bearing in mind, some mixers out there will have rotary volume controls. This guy here also has low, which is sometimes known as bass, mid and high, which is sometimes known as top. Now, again, if we have a look at the controller itself, we've got this dial here called browse. That's almost like the brains of the unit. What that will do, that will en enable the user to browse through folders, files, and then when you find a certain file, not a folder, but a file that you want, you can then use this to play that file. But also you can browse through the folder. So if I give you an example now, what I'm doing now, I'm just moving the browse dial. I'm turning it around and you notice this bar going up and down. That's indicating to me that the bar is highlighting the particular file. So if I want to play that file, if we have a look at the hardware, I'm going to press load. And now that file is loaded up onto that deck. So if I just scroll down maybe to there and I press on the other side, the other load, you'll notice that file has loaded on the other side now. Right, I'm going to press play on the left hand side and if we have a listen, we can't hear anything. That's because if we have a look down here, the controller, the volumes are down. This is really important, OK, because if you can't hear anything, it could be either because the volume's down. Also, it could be because your master volume is not up. If the master volume is set to seven o'clock, then you won't get any sound out of this guy. You want to make sure the master volume is, let's say, for argument's sake for now, around about 12 o'clock. Also, you need to make sure you've got some audio cables out of the right hand side of the unit going either into your amplifier from your amp into your non powered speakers, alternatively, out of here into your powered speakers. Also, then on the left hand side, we have the USB plug. You need to make sure that's connected to your laptop. There's a switch for on and off, and you have two headphone inputs. You have quarter inch jack and mini jack. Right, so I'm going to now turn this guy up. Put your hands on your hip. And there you go. We now have volume. We have some audio. You'll notice as well the jog wheels are touch sensitive. So if you want to, you can do a bit of scratching. Exactly the same the other side. <laughs> Alright, what we're going to do now, we're going to have a look at this area here, sampler. What I want you to do, just make a note now, I'm just going to put the volume down, this area here. Now I'm going to press, if we have a look back down here again my friend, at this button here that has sampler next to it, and then back up to the software. What I'm going to do, I'm going to press that button. Notice there where my finger is, we've got that little red dot where hot cue is. If I press sampler, it's now gone to sampler. Press it again, it's gone to hot cue. So what that means is that one, two, three, four down here, these buttons can be one of two things. You can either use them as hot cues or use them for sampling. Now there are a couple of samples in there already. If we have a look on the right hand side, we have a siren and a horn. On the left hand side, we have a beat, low hip, echo bass and siren long. So what we'll do now, we're going to put this guy up and we're now going to just get some hot cues. If we have a look on the software, we can see that the hot cue is highlighted. So here we go. 
I'm going to press. Now, have a listen to the music. That's there. If I want to get rid of that hot cue, I need to press this button here, shift, press that, and now that hot cue's gone. And now what I want, if I want to, I can create another hot cue on number one. I can do four if I want to. And again, if I want to get rid of these, I need to put my finger on shift, and at the same time while I've got my finger on shift, press one, two, three, four, and now those hot cues have gone. All right, if we have a look at the software again, I'm now gonna press the button sampler, and we can see we've now highlighted by sampler. So, if you notice there, we have that sampling sound. I'm gonna put the volume down. That was number one. Number two. Number three. Bass, bass, bass. And number four. Again, if I want to come away from sampler and go back to hot cue, all I need to do is press that sampler, and then now we're back to the hot cues. So, what we'll do is we'll scroll through, and we'll find another track, and load that up. I'm going to press play. Let's have a look at the effects. Press effects, number one, and we can hear that effect. As I move the jog wheel, we can change the parameter of the effect. If I want to take the effect away, again, press shift, press the effect, and now we've got rid of that effect. This guy here, it's for tempo, we can increase or decrease the speed. Move it away from you and the track will slow down. Move it towards you and the track will speed up. All right, I'm gonna class this as video number one. We'll do another one shortly on Pioneer We Go. Practice and enjoy. <laughs>